Hello and welcome to Juvenalia. I'm Alan McGuire and my co-host today is the author and writer and winner of U Magazine's 30 Under 30 Dash Literature Award, oh my Sarah God. Maria Griffin. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh Hi, Alan. God. How are you? <laughs> Very well. Thank you so and much. And our guest today is a stand-up, a writer, an actor, and the host of the Alison Spittle Show on the Headstuff Podcast Network. It is Alison Spittle. You forgot for amp- for amp- <laughs> philanthropist. And philanthropist, most importantly. Humanitarian. Humanitarian. Basically. I also was involved in politics as a teenager, so <laughs> yeah. yeah, we could say politician. Politician, former politician, mm-hmm. current philanthropist. Disgraced politician. <laughs> <laughs> Communication <laughs> from the Irish. Yeah. Long gone. Never be on the Westmead Junior County Council ever again. No. This is what I should have done Juvenalia about <laughs> my tenure as Westmead Junior <laughs> County Council. We could probably come back to that. That's probably why you were disgraced. Yeah, it was yeah. absolutely. I met my first boyfriend at it though. Oh yeah. Yeah. He. Um. I basically how we met was first day you're supposed to put yourself forward for Cahir Locked, which is the head of the Westmead Junior County Council, and I put myself forward. And he seconded my motion. And, uh, so romantic. I know, yeah. I know. And do you know how he broke up with me? He just didn't message me back. Oh. <laughs> so <Early> ghosting. <laughs> oh my, the Holy guy Holy. The guy was such a ghoster. And oh. then two years later, I was uh, I was in a nightclub with that loan uh, while some former member of The Prodigy was DJing. It was amazing. Nice. <laughs> I worked for a local radio station. So I got to go in and out of the VIP area which is just just another part of the bar, and he <laughs> and he bought me he bought me a Captain Morgan, the ex boyfriend, and a and a Rock Shandy, and it blew my mind. We went out for another month, and then he ghosted me again. Oh, oh my god! god. Uh, but I'm over it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Feel me, ghost me once, shame on you. Yeah, <laughs> ghost me twice. You're still a prick. <laughs> yeah, ghost me. <laughs> I turned into Derek Agora. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, okay, yeah, so our actual thing sorry. we're here. To, what are we actually here to talk about? We are here to talk about chat rooms. Okay. Yeah, because I wanted I like um I think every person every person who's been on Twitter in in Dublin always dreams of what their juvenilia subject is. I do <laughs> think that. I do. What if we did, you know, daydream and go, oh, what will I talk about?" And I was going for a few and even on the cycle here, I was like, "Oh, I should have picked coming to America. I really <laughs> like that book. But um, I decided to talk about internet chat rooms because that's what I used to do a lot when I was a teenager. I think everybody yeah. our age kind of has the same progression from like chat room message boards, yeah. Twitter kind of thing. Yeah. I think so. So, so let's I go back to the so. start. Uh-huh. What kind of chat rooms did you start off on? I, How old were you, first of all, when you got the internet and stuff? The first ever time I was exposed to a chat room was at my friend Sarah's cousin's He's my friend. Why do I have to <laughs> put him as my friend's cousin? Or my cousin's <laughs> friend? Or what? Okay. So, let's picture this. Mullingar, uh, late 90s. There was um, there was a, a PC that my uh, friend's father owned and they just had the internet. And the first thing we went to was Rotten.com. Oh my of God. course. Had a yeah. look. And it was about eight of us and we were all about nine or ten looking at... Uh, Horrible autopsy pictures and go, <laughs> <laughs> and then the natural progression then would be to go to a chat room, and uh, I can't remember what it was. I think it was America Online or what's it called? AOL. Yeah. AOL. They mm. had chat rooms, and I think I think it was AOL. And we used to go in and just type in the word "fuck" <laughs> uh, over and over and over <laughs> until we got kicked out, and it felt amazing. <laughs> Twitter <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like the the like I don't think I've had a bigger laugh than with like I was just, you know, six other kids and we just we felt incredible, we felt really mm-hmm. powerful and then we get kicked out and then we go, oh, make up another name so we'd make up another name. And then we would go Hello, <laughs> and pretend to be normal, and then go fuck, 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 and get kicked out. And it would feel like we'd go more elaborate, and we would pretend to be people. And uh, yeah, it was incredible. It was incredible. So that's I kind of I, I my my mum got a PC. Um, I was so excited, and uh, you see the 
the thing is that like uh, I don't know in the night like my I wasn't well off so I would mm. go through periods of my mum having her phone cut off and then it back again. So I'd be like, what are you paying your phone bill, mom? What are you paying your phone bill? <laughs> and then she'd have it paid and I'd be like, yes! And I'd go straight into a chat room. And I so it used to be like a, a camaraderie thing which I would do with friends and then mm. I would go on my own. And I would have to, it would be less kind of bravado, but it would yeah. be more like, it felt like a game of chess with myself as well, where I would stay in for as long as I could without getting thrown out. Uh, that's <laughs> how far can you push it? Yeah, yeah, how far can I push it? Yeah, so it would, be, it would be, I would have a great time. I used to love going into it. My favourite was this uh, chat site called teenchat.com, which was like not the, not the best, not the snazziest, but the great thing about it was you didn't have to give your email. So you just clicked right. in. And you could come up with any name you like and you go back in. It sounds like the kind of place that would be rife for predators. Oh my God, I talked to so many as well. <laughs> I used to, I used to, because I think the, the biggest thing you're taught when you're a child is like to learn the safe cross code and to avoid pedophiles. Like that mm-hmm. was the thing. And, and like they wouldn't, Mammy wouldn't go like, oh, don't, don't go off of a pedophile. But it would be like, stranger danger. Oh yeah, or even that lad down the road. Don't go into his house like that type of thing. He's no sweets. He's no sweets. <laughs> yeah, he's no yeah, sweets. yeah, yeah. Or she, you know, he's he's a bit odd. Uh, so I mean, not so. But I would be, I would be like, I would um, I would be fascinated with that lad down the road. I'd never go near him, mm. but I would watch his house and stuff and pretend in my head like there's. I've, I think the, there was nothing actually wrong with that man at all. I think he was just a single man. <laughs> Single man in Westmead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but like that's it. That's the parents' biggest fear. So, so I would go into chat rooms the whole time, and like, uh, I was so, because I, I was so young as well, and I would talk to, I would talk to people, like an adult. Like mm. I would always, did you know the whole ASL thing, oh, and yeah. I would, uh, I would always be uh, sixteen female California. <laughs> that oh would be. God. But I was chatting to a friend about this, and he said if you had to, if you looked at the, you know, if you if you did a survey of the late nineties chat rooms of what people said they were, it was oh like eighty nine percent of chat rooms were were with uh, sixteen year old girls from California. That was the <laughs> that was the main demographic. And um, but I would I would I would chat to people and uh if they got any way fruity, as in like, you know, if they'd get any way kind of sexual mm. and stuff, uh, I would answer for as long as I felt like okay with it. Mm. Like and then I would go, You do realise you're talking to an eleven year old child. <laughs> you pedophile And then I thought in my head, because 'cause I'd watched I presumed I presumed because my mum told me, like, don't don't do anything bad on the internet. They can find you, they've your IP address and all she was just trying to make make me not I don't know. But I, I just presumed that that was gospel. And if I typed pedophile into the internet chat room, that the police would, <laughs> that, there'd be a, that there would be a room full of police go, hey, we got one, we got one. <laughs> <laughs> Click on it, I found him. And then they go to some poor guy in Iowa in his basement kicking in and he turns a gun on himself. I was always very... <laughs> I had these weird, very violent images. <laughs> it was a lot of rotten dot com. It was a lot of rotten dot com. So yeah. did you ever use them sincerely or was it always trolling? It was it was always trolling because yeah. I didn't have the bravery to be sincere. Okay. Because I think I think I enjoyed it so much trolling. Uh as uh I think because the first time I did it was with other people. Yeah. And the other people are going, These people are the saddest people I've ever I'm like yeah, yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, so I couldn't. Um, I was, I was terrible. It was just, I used to, I used to, I used to go into this uh, chat room in Teen Chat called. There was two that I loved going to. There was one called Vampires There, um, which was for when people wanted to pretend they were vampires, and it's nice. not like. I would I would go in and pretend to be like a clown car on fire <laughs> in the side. <laughs> they would <laughs> what I loved what I loved is like and I would just be typing help <laughs> help me <laughs> <laughs>
So the way, the what I loved about Vampire Slayer was that there was a totally different element to other fucking other chat rooms because other chat rooms you go in and they go ASL and you're like da 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 and you yeah. chat right, but with Vampire Slayer they would go. Uh, Ethel Grin has entered, and then it'll be type. Ethel Grin is typing for about ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> a masked lady walks in. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> she places her tank card on the bar. <laughs> she breathes in the air. She knows something is coming, and you know, and then other people will be typing to like you know progress the story on, <laughs> and then it'll be like <laughs> cloud car on fire sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not I'm sorry because I used to go to those for, I used to go to those forums and real sincerity <laughs> <laughs> I really wish that a clown car on fire oh my god <laughs> <laughs> I used to be in uh, RPG forums when I was a kid as well Amazing. and it was so serious it was and I can only imagine how erect <laughs> everyone was <laughs> that is so bad the embers start to slow (laughs) (laughs) and did they react at all or did they just like Um, not with that one (laughs) so like (laughs) um, or what I (laughs) I would I would often like I would often like play I would go in and I would be like I I bet this was so annoying for people but I would go in and I would like um what would I do? I'd go in and I I'd be I'd be like what they are, so it'd be like a vampire or something. But I would always have like something weirdly wrong with me. <laughs> like I would <laughs> I would I'd be sweating or something. <laughs> <laughs> That was every every action I would talk about how much I'm sweating. <laughs> and I would try and be I would try and be serious. I go like uh, like Ethelgrin, I want to start an alliance with you as I sweat profusely and it's all like it's all um but what I loved is I would start fights with people, like physical fights in the bar. Often I would be pretend to be drunk and it would be like uh, you know, Daryl. I I used to always pretend to be men for a long time because I felt like uh, sexism within chat rooms, <laughs> <laughs> but like in the vampire community. In the vampire community, yeah. if if I if I was a lad, then no one was like you know. I didn't want it. I didn't want it to get sexual. I wanted it yeah. to get clown carry. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> so like um, so yeah, I would I would I would start fights with people and like these these guys would be like you know, um, troll dark troll two thousand. Uh, just, and they type and they type for a long time as like action do you know the way they had action it was yeah, all yeah. bold and um, they would talk about how they're slicing up my skin and stuff and um, setting me on fire and all these incredibly lovely detailed bits rich of rich world building <laughs> yeah. yeah rich world building bits of violence just talking about my demise and then I would go like uh, I've got a force field <laughs> 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 and they would be like no I've c-. and then they would type more and go you know dark troll 2000 cuts through the force field <laughs> nothing can stop this and I'm like no my force field has stopped it <laughs> 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 <I continue. laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah that's what I, I used to do a lot I used to do a lot or I used to pretend to be people's children so I would go in and like if they it, like I, I would often watch it for a while and see people yeah see how the stories go see how yeah. the stories go and then like if they're I would go dad no and they're like what no dad <laughs> stop and it's like um, <laughs> and sometimes they would continue to have me and such they would think oh this Aww. person's trying to add something to the, <laughs> to the thing and then I would like denounce him at the end because <laughs> oh, I was having problems with my dad at the time <laughs> so I would be like <laughs> you should treat mom better it was all very fucked up <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Um, yeah, so you used to do RPG stuff. I've just, I, I was gonna say that at least those are like that's like a real in, in the sort of the world of Dungeons and Dragons and sort of like online role playing. Like vampires and shit is a relatively normal one. Yeah. I managed to find myself into the in the really specific weird one. Like there, there, there was there were loads of them, but mm. there was uh, one that I kind of visited 
multiple times and it wasn't a chat room it was a message board okay and uh that was sort of my my i was always warned never to go into chat rooms so i was like but a message board isn't so technically like half, like half a chat room <laughs> <laughs> technically. Breaking the and uh, a lot of people about who i am here you know uh i used to and this is I didn't know how bookmarks worked, so I used to have to write down the really, really long web host address. So I have a diary at home, a childhood diary, which is mostly full of very specific URLs. And I have yeah. been back and typed them in, and all those pages are gone. Oh, Thank yeah. God. Oh, my God. But the one I was involved in was an Android Weber uh, Cats. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it was literally 11. Oh, my God. That's a Channel and, 4 uh, documentary. Isn't it? That's a Channel 4. I mostly lurked, because I, I had gotten a VHS of the... Of the um, of the the musical mm. uh, and I was just like it's just like watching a live action store oh god there's there's things here that I the, there's there's adult, adult hap- let's not read that let's kind of read that so one. they were pretending to be the cats yeah like wow. were they making their own cats or were they like yeah they're making their own cats some okay. of them were cats from the I think you have to like apply to be one of the cats from the musical <laughs> Of course. Because there's only like six of them or something. Yeah. They're like the Ireland account. <laughs> 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 so guys, I'm playing McCavity. <laughs> and we'll be talking about Where's my this week. <laughs> Mental health. <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah. Repeal the eighth. Oh my God. <laughs> Repeal the eighth. Oh man, I totally want to apply for the Ireland account like as McCavity. Or like, oh my God, as Joseph in his technical or dream coat. That's it. I'm going to be like, oh run through Android web characters. I think dustbins don't have enough food waste in them. <laughs> Let's sort this out at D Higgins. <laughs> oh my god, do you think I could apply as Mo? I'm totally gonna do that. I'm gonna go I'm gonna ask Dyer. That's happening. If you listen to Dyer, that I'm would be amazing. Yeah. That would be gas. Oh um, my god. Meow, could, meow, meow. Can we apply as the as the Ireland account and then just pretend we're in a chat room and go, Hi <laughs> Hi, <laughs> hi ASL How <laughs> <laughs> car sixty nine car to see your timeline. Yeah. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I used to I used to love going into Christine teen chat as oh well. Oh god. Yeah. And uh just I'm just a terrible I would just go in like Richard Dark and it's like a big <laughs> fool. I'd be like, God doesn't exist <laughs> I mean I mean a bit they were like, Yeah, okay like every every second person that joined was like agnostic and aglight enlightened sixty nine joins the chat room. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love I didn't know what 69 was oh, for man. ages also it's the sex number <laughs> I know so, also I was talking to a guy on t- on um, on a Morrissey forum ch- I know we'll talk about forums later, but I was talking to a guy and my mum was looking and he was like and his name was Cunning Linguist wow. and she was like what what the, what kind of dirt are you on? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I'll just chat about Morrissey, ma'am. This sounds from England. It's really cool. <laughs> he's a filthy. I was like, no, he's not. He's fine. <laughs> she could, you don't know what that means. I was 16, right? And she was like, you're telling me you don't know what that means. <laughs> and I think she was more disappointed yeah. in me for not knowing what kind of linguist <laughs> is. <laughs> At your age, you should know what that means. <laughs> so, yeah, I felt very sad. But, yeah, sorry. I... I, t- I feel you see the problem with this as a subject is it's so wide mm. that like um, I feel we're not going to cover everything I'm so worried I just want to hear we're all cover your stuff as well but the like, era, that particular area of the internet is so strange because I was, mm. I was trying to talk, I was talking to somebody recently where it was like I'm not sure if some of the shit that I feel like I read or saw or the people I talked to even existed oh no do you know I feel yeah. like there's this it's this weird memory void where it's like <laughs> I experienced that alone, effectively. Mm. Yeah. And it was so fucking weird. And the whole thing was, I was obsessed with it. Yeah. So maybe I made it up, you know? Yeah. I didn't, because there's yeah. proof. But the, I also... I used to be on a thing called uh, Microsoft Comic Chat. That was my first chat room. Do you remember those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For anybody who's, like, not in their late 20s or 30s, it was chat, but they would have little comic panels and everybody would pick a character, one of eight characters, and you could choose the character's expressions. That's so amazing. So once, once the panel filled up, it moved on to the next panel. That's amazing. Yeah, but like it was like an alien, a hipster poet, a tiki head, a sexy lady, one sexy lady, and then oh <laughs> and like oh, yeah, so everybody would like pick an avatar of one of those eight, and you could change your expressions and just talk as a comic. But that was like it was part of Windows ninety five. Oh, that's yeah. incredible. That's, that's incredible. incredible. Yeah, I um, I was chatting to a few friends about internet chat rooms mm. just to kind of just to get a bit of background on it, and one of my friends used to go to this. Um, one where you'd play Pictionary with other people, like in the early, early days, yeah. and kind of uh, and chat and make friends there. And one of my friends uh, found his wife in a chat room. In a chat room? Yeah. She wow. lives in America. They got married this year. 
but um, they were chatting on Yahoo chat and he didn't get on with her mm. at first and he kind of left her to this like she was just one of those dormant accounts that you never talked you know yeah. like on mm. MSN like your cousin oh yeah the whole list of people who were like little green dots you never mm. talked to yeah. Yeah. yeah and like four or five years later he decided just to chat to her for the crack and uh, they got on really well and they got married this year that's wow. gorgeous isn't it gorgeous yeah. that's really savage it's better so than nice. c- you know imagine if I'm a, I found my husband uh, as clown care six <laughs> 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 I was, was on fire. He, he was pretending to be a fire extinguisher. Yeah. <laughs> we just clicked. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say fuck, 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 fuck? <laughs> yeah. So beautiful. <laughs> 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 yeah. Mm. Um, I actually went looking for someone I used to talk to online recently. Um, I think I found them uh-huh. uh, on LinkedIn. And I have literally got no idea how to approach him because of the. I'm doing it again. I'm sorry. I'm doing the thing where I move away from the microphone. Sorry, Twitter. Um, yeah, I uh, someone I used to chat to a lot on one of the message boards that I I used to moderate because I'm one of those. I'm I'm a mod. Uh, me too. Me too. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh I'm my god, you're yeah. my enemy. I was an admin. I was a mod, then a global mod, then an admin. Oh, oh my god, shit, that's yeah. real. How I progressed? Yeah, mm. I really thought I really Grease thought palms. I yeah. really thought moderators were like um, men in their forties in Minneapolis with briefcases, just like as a well, they were twelve year old girls <laughs> in Ireland. Yeah, <laughs> mine was oh. in college. It was a Waterford metal forum. So what? Yeah, it was How? two two metal bands started up a forum and then just became a Waterford's young person forum. That's cool. Ooh. And just <clears throat> same thing kind of did with Twitter, where you just hang around long enough and people just kind of let you do what things. Are you on Twitter for? Like since it started, but only properly since I got my iPhone, which yeah, was like yeah. six years ago, I'd say. Because that yeah. timestamps you on your account, it's like 2009. I'm like, Jesus, 2009? Yeah. That's a minute ago. Ugh. No. Yeah, my first tweets are like, just trying this out. <laughs> Test. <laughs> <laughs> tweet, tweet. <Yeah. laughs> my first tweet was to Charlie Brooker um, saying, because he, he was getting some jip on Twitter. I lurked for a year mm. on Twitter and didn't say anything. And he said... Uh, Ask me any question. So I was like, uh, what's your least favourite rebel? And uh, he said earwax. And I was like, well, this is incredible. <laughs> this, this is the best website of all time. That is what, if initially, you're like, oh my God, I can follow like Charlie Brooker and, <laughs> you know, Tom But I, York. I mean, yeah. it went very downhill from there. <laughs> it was yeah. So, you know, how do you find out when you're f- like, how do you do the time hop thing? I've no. It just happened on Facebook. Oh, just on Facebook. But Facebook does it automatically now. <coughs> like oh, yeah. Up oh, my God, every day. Thing. It's like, do you remember four years ago? Here's your cat. Here's a t-shirt small. you bought. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Here's yeah. that friend you've fallen out of touch with because you had a baby and now you <laughs> feel guilty. <laughs> <laughs> but then I go, I've fallen out of touch with all of my friends, so I feel... <laughs> I've met so many friends, yeah. Then. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, you know, living up here, having coffees. That's <laughs> real, having coffees, <laughs> eating donuts, donuts, man. Yeah, it's my career. Yeah. It's my career. Hello, it's me, here on my dictaphone app in my car I need to tell you about our sponsor Just Eat uh, the takeaway app uh, we're delighted that Just Eat are sponsoring us um, mostly because like you know on podcasts when people talk about their sponsor and about how much they use it and they use it all the time blah blah blah, blah I really do use Just Eat all the time I'm a very lazy person and it's like a utility to me like um, like water or electricity like water electricity Just Eat Um if you buy your food from Just Eat between now and 27th of August, you get a chance to win VIP tickets to Electric Picnic. And who wouldn't want that? And if you do do that, could you please do it uh, by visiting headstuff.justeat.ie because then they know that we sent you and everybody's happy. You could win tickets. You'll definitely have some food. We'll have proven ourselves to be useful. Just Eat will have been involved in the whole thing and everybody will, will be delighted. Um, that jangling sound you just heard was my keys because I'm genuinely in my car and I was gesturing with my hands on my knees. Um, okay, let's go back to the podcast. Bye. What chat rooms did you go on to? Just like the comic chat ones. It was all the like, they were all teamed, but mm-hmm. I was really earnest in 12. So yeah. I, I didn't try real troll. Earnest, real yeah, yeah, real yeah. ASL. Yeah. And I, like, I didn't, I was so boring, I think. I didn't I have any think... imagination about fun things to do with it. I it wasn't until message boards really that kind of I think I was laugh. so afraid of communicating with people on a mm. real level that I, all I could do was troll and I tr- yeah. you know so I think they're like I don't think it's like I look at um, YouTube comments now and I was I saw Carolina her, I, I went to see like Carolina Hearn died recently mm. and I went to see her uh, just um, the Mrs. Merton clip of her and uh, Bernard Manning 
and I saw like there was some just someone put a comment and it was a half an hour after everyone had found mm. out she died and it was like you left this cunt I hope you rot in hell or something like that and I was like Ooh. okay and mm. then I went I, first of all I was angry and I was like oh, how, that's a national treasure how <laughs> very dare you and then I thought this is this is a person looking for attention mm. like you can't because on on chat rooms you were getting the attention of 14 people or whatever that had no choice but to give you their attention because you're ruining their captive game. audience yeah. yeah yeah they're a captive audience there's none of that anymore so now people have to be like they have to like not target people in in their locations but target them by their emotions and mm. try and get them to reply because you know you have a you have a an audience of let's say a hundred thousand but they're not captive they don't have to reply to you yeah. they don't care so but they will feel compelled to do that so i feel it comes from the same place and then i thought back to how sad my life like my teenage life was and then mm. i go oh my god that person's in pain that mm. person's in pain you know so but i really feel there's a difference between like waiting for the five minutes to strike after the death of a celebrity and then going in and spewing vitriol and being like clan car 69 just walked into the room i feel <laughs> that there is a spiritual difference and i think yeah. i think that the particular breed of, of hatred and grossness that happens in the internet has grown. And like, I used to read art.com a bunch as well with my mm. girl, with my like gal pals when we were little tiny kids and we used to look at like Weeble and Bob. Do you remember those little... Oh, yeah, I yeah. loved Weeble and Bob. We would sit there for 45 minutes salad waiting fingers. for a lash. Oh my God, oh, Solid Fingers. fingers. Yeah. Like, you know, like all yeah. of these, like the, the Criterion collection of YouTube videos, you know, <laughs> the sort of the, the beginnings. But like, we did look at the weird shit too. And that... I remember thinking that's as weird as the internet's ever gonna be. Do you know that this I is just the, the, the yeah. height of the weird? But something, with, I mean, the internet is what like fifteen, sixteen. I mean, in the in the form that we know at point one and point two. Like I'm sure there's a proper timeline. I might be getting it wrong, but like in the time that the internet has grown and changed from a place where you're not actually meant to tell anyone who you really are into the place where you have to tell people who you are and your identity online is important as opposed to being like oh, yourself, <laughs> 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 16 California <laughs> girl. <laughs> you yes. know, the opposite of that is your you know your online profiles and stuff and your your linkedin and your 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 I'm, I'm not i'm talking about linkedin for a reason not because i'm like into it but for 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 storytelling reasons either anyway um different time completely different time mm. and now people are rediscovering the use of like the, the the username the shield they like it's 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 like this vehicle for like proper poison because i i don't know i i think it's just grown i think it started out as kind of cute and now it's all just Bastard. I think I think there's no place there's no place for Clown Car sixty nine anymore. I wish there was. But there no. is but there isn't. So like it's like um so that can never exist in its in its place. I think I was just I'm trying to look up um what I I think it's sad. It is sad, but it's just a part of life. Yeah. And it's like mm. um it's like I used to go on this YouTube channel called Facts, which was a handy bit of cash and it was around oh, the corner yeah, yeah, from yeah. my house and stuff and I did two videos and just like they did not like like would you believe it American 14 year old lads do not like me they were just like land whale I'm just horrible mm. shit right yeah and it's Fuck like Allison. oh don't worry and I then don't I, know <laughs> <laughs> but then I, yeah but it's like it's like to be honest with you Sarah like a really sad thing about my life and is what I've kind of had to accept is that like there have been two different opportunities where I there's been two part there've been two points in my life where I felt that I've been controlled by a fourteen year old lad's erection and I'm just like ah oh, that sounds a bit mm. like that's a weird image but no it's but real yeah, no yeah. yeah that's real and I was like it's like why am I eating while talking about <laughs> this <laughs> they're delicious <laughs> oh the feelings oh, oh the feelings oh. fill it with jelly um. I and like um, it's just it's just properly, it's just a part of life, and it's just it's a sad part of life that will change, yeah, for uh, hopefully other people. But it's just like, it's just like so. Um, it's beyond frustrating that. Uh, I can't even express into words how I properly. I haven't even really computed it yet. Yeah, but mm. it's 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 a terrible thing for that that volume and nobody is like. 
nobody's having real conversations with these teenage boys. These teenage boys are like the nega clown car 69. Yeah. Do you know? It's because it's, it's never just one of them. It's always 40 of them come in to mention Yo, them. It's always like 40, 60. I know, they're, they're like, they multiply before you. You've gotten a lot worse. I got it like once a couple of weeks ago when I was talking about feminism a bit. Yeah. But yeah. you get it constantly. I got and it's really just, bad when I made a mute, mute, Star Wars mute. once. Like yeah. the one, I wrote an essay about Star Wars which went well but then I wrote one single tweet having the crack about it. And these, uh, like the what the, this uh, this insane wave of I don't think they're even fourteen is the problem. I think these are people who were grown, um, right. going through my photos and like pulling going photos, photos. pulling photos, photos up, well, yeah. sending them back to me, um, mm. su- making helpful suggestions about how I should cosmetically alter my facial structure, um, like really really detailed uh, responses. And I was just like, oh, watch. Yeah. Watch me block. Just <laughs> smash that block button, son. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, but it was the quantity. Uh-huh. It was my God. There are so many of these people, and um, because once, because uh, then you you truly sort of under under when when people come to you like that, and you understand the nature of like virality because they retweet it. Their friends who are all shitty see it. They retweet it. Their friends who are all shitty see it. And then suddenly yeah. you have 80, 90, 14 to twenty seven year old boys and men coming for you, yeah. and that it, it makes it not worth it. It, it's so it's so odd. Like um, I'm friends with Sophie Hagen and uh, like um, she says herself like Denmark is like it's not it's the concept of feminism is quite new there. Mm. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, in Denmark, yeah, yeah, it's odd. I know. I yeah, was like, no, that's interesting. Isn't Scandinavia supposed to be a utopia? But, <laughs> yeah. but Borgen. Yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. But apparently, like, and they had to ethnic cleansing for years up there, though. To be mm. fair, like, so I mean, they're not. They really are. Like, wow, yeah, yeah, they were anyway. But she, um, so she's outspoken and stuff, and she's been more outspoken uh, in her home country, and she's like a celebrity there now because mm. she's successful. And um, like uh, she she tweeted at me about something just to say like there's some sort of gig or something, and then her haters got on to me and mm. were like, "You should." What I love is that like uh, the Doctor Phils that are about that constantly tell me to you don't care for your health, you you don't care for your health, you uh you and it's just like yeah, mate. It's like I just. I don't care for my health. You are correct. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You are. What am I going to say? Am I gonna, excuse me, sir. I do. <laughs> how, how dare you? <laughs> um, do you know, it's just, it's just so odd. And they think they're kind of, they're hurting me by going, you don't care for your health. I'm like, yeah, I don't. I really mm. don't. You're, you're pointing out something quite correct about <laughs> me. Good luck to you. Have a nice day. It's just, it's just so odd. But I, I, I really, um, what I wanted to talk about I know because I just hate number one. I hate. I I brought this. I brought this topic on right, and I mean talking about like trolls and stuff. And then I go to myself. Oh, why did I start talking about that? Because you can't really change anything. There's nothing I can do about like me existing as well as that. Um, as I am, just makes them angry anyway. Mm. So there's nothing like I can do. You like it's just I don't. I don't an opinion on a uh, phenophile. TD that got elected and like um, I was working for Newstalk at the time and my job was to write funny things about the election mm. so like yeah. uh, Jack Chambers hilarious <laughs> <laughs> um, and some some like um, some guy just like just said really really horrible stuff about me and then I was like but I'm saying horrible stuff about Jack Chambers <laughs> so I should just you know, you should. I don't know. I, I don't think know. it's aiming up, though. Also. Yeah. Do you know? I, yeah. Different. I think yeah. those lads, those lads aren't always doing the best for. Uh, they have a lot of power, it and I think you can come for those in power, no problem. <laughs> it you know? is. It is about aiming up, but I, I, I think, uh, I think they feel they're aiming up because I think they feel below me, and I feel, I think they yeah. feel like they have to try and bring me down, like as into gut. But you're fat, and it's like, yeah, I know, I know I'm fat. Like, do you not think? Do you not think I haven't noticed that, like at all? Do you, that's just anyway, um. But what I want to talk about um on Twitter was um. There's this uh. I want to look up the guy. Actually, do you mind if I do? Yeah, just, go for Because I was kind of half doing that when you were talking. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, this is rude. <laughs> uh, sorry. No, the fact that's it, the Wonder Killer like presides. Like, yeah. I love about the like what I think about early internet was the waiting the forty five minutes or the dial up or the like the man banging on the ceiling being yeah. like, you have used thirty minutes. You are causing you this house of yeah. fortune, right? Yeah. And I'm just like waiting for one video of Weeble and Bob to load, and I'm like, man, <laughs> he's three more minutes, and then I can watch them. You know, cat face. He's got the face of a oh my cat. God. <laughs> and uh, these little guys, though, smartphones. Like I'm obsessed. Yeah. Like this, I'm absolutely obsessed with yeah. them. Yeah. 
not by, by, by I think I've burned away some of my fingerprints on my left hand from having my smartphone in my hand the whole time because really? it eats up yeah. I've, my fingers tingle sometimes and I worry about it nerve, yeah. nerve endings <laughs> but yeah. it's the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy man mm. it's like it's a piece of science fiction it's literally I, I can't believe that we can do that I'm what growing up you had to wait a half an hour for or you had to listen to the weird dial up tone and wait for images to scroll bar by bar down mm. like and you can just talk to a rando at any given moment yeah. Like, yeah I think the progression like the, the functional progression of it is amazing the social progression of it is weird do you know what I mean in the way that we, we interact with it has changed yeah like the three of us only know each other oh my god because of Twitter yeah because yeah. of the internet yeah it's so mm-hmm. and I feel um, I feel kind of like chat rooms are so different because you would never know no there was no expectation of continuing any sort of you, uh, no you'd never expect the same people be there the time mm. when you came back especially yeah. the chat rooms that I used to go into because I used to not like going into chat rooms that would take my email because I mm. wanted to cause trouble the whole time no so paper trail <laughs> without a yeah, trace yeah, yeah yeah so every kind of conversation sometimes I would tell like secrets to these people yeah and then just and then just cut off and I'd be like that person knows something but they're never going to meet them again or anything like that mm-hmm. and I mean when I say secrets I'll be like I have a crush on this person <laughs> 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 and by the way I'm a clown car <laughs> yeah. and also on fire yeah. in your vampire bar this clown car is on fire <laughs> <laughs> I wish that song was so dead <laughs> and she loves oh. <laughs> bleep that um, <laughs> bleep that <laughs> um, but um, yeah so so with Twitter like you, you do have to you can't I can't go around going like I'm a clown car on fire because I might want to have a career <laughs> do you know what I mean lads we're going to have to bring that in real hardcore when this episode drops as well hashtag clown car on fire hashtag clown car 69 like because you changed your Twitter name it used to be log log bark bark I did oh, yeah. yeah I did I changed it I changed it for I changed it because Everyone kept telling me to change it. Why? <laughs> because I would go on. So, like, you know, you're, you're, you're a stand-up comedian. So wow. I felt like with Twitter, I was trying to... <laughs> um, I Right, I did this documentary about two years ago about stand-ups on TV3. Mm. And we had this Twitter expert that came on to give... I was just, it was just me and him in a room and another guy. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we were like... <laughs> He would say, so your name, uh, Log Log Bark Bark. <laughs> <laughs> What's that about? And I said, well, actually, interesting you ask. Uh, when I was in college, I fell out with this guy in my uh, class. And uh, he used to put up YouTube videos of him presenting uh, fake TV shows because he was interested in media and he was being very sincere. Mm. But I used to go on as Log Log Bark Bark and just go, you're terrible. Uh, <laughs> and be a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> just be an absolute bitch and then I really liked the name <laughs> I just thought it was great so I kept it for Twitter and I told him that it was me <laughs> oh you came clean man that's real yeah. that's, real. that's an episode of This American Life for fuck's sake I know, <laughs> I know. Real, yeah. oh no no like like he, he would have definitely known it was me because we used to like we used to say horrible things about each other's mothers and stuff. It was we were the two youngest in our college classes, mm-hmm. and uh, it would just be like we we did not like each other at all. Um, so it was kind of like it was kind of known, and it was just. Uh, but yeah, so I just kept the name. I just really really liked the name, and then like these uh, Twitter people would be like, uh, like these people that look at algorithms would go. So uh, do you know, um, you you need to you need to change that. You need to. You need to give yourself a more professional name, like, I don't know, Alison Spiddle. <laughs> and I go, okay. <laughs> and eventually I just changed it because um, I think I would look on Twitter and there'd be people asking at Alison Spittle and there'd mm. be no one there. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought it'd be a good idea to take it before some, some other person did yeah. and then just start go, I love the KKK. <laughs> 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 and then it'd be like, Alison Spittle, no comedian loves the KKK. <laughs> Screenshotted, <laughs> yeah. Out. Um, yeah. So I used to, I used to. Uh, so I just changed it. I changed it, and I quite like Twitter. It's nice. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's a good, it's a good place to be. Everyone, everyone thinks I'm really into skiing, and it really bums me out because they kind of miss. Oh the, yeah. They miss the Grifsky, the cute, the 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 cutesy thing that I decided in 2009 that was going to be my name, mm. and it's like, oh, so you, you do you, do you, do you ski? And I'm like, no, that's like a turn of phrase. That has that. never occurred to me. Literally never. Yeah, but people say it to you, to my face. And there's another yeah. there's another Sarah Griffin on Twitter who's also a writer and oh. also contributes to Arena <laughs> sometimes. And we're friends now. I followed her first, and she did not follow me back for a hot minute. I was like, look, we're the same person. Hello, but she gets tagged.
tagged in my stuff all the time and it's just mm. like <laughs> hello <Yeah. laughs> we should probably like braid each other's hair and be best friends real quick because this is not going to stop happening <laughs> like, um, this is it but I don't but the thing about Twitter is that there is a kind of crossover with chat rooms there is a if you look on the hashtag RP role playing oh yeah, yeah. There I'm are different, about to. <laughs> what I love is that I want to talk to you about this guy called John Taffer, right? Okay. Who is, uh, I'll show you a picture of him here. This is in there. Okay. There he is. Uh-huh. And he fronts this show. He's a bar, I'll read his Wikipedia to you, right? John Taffer, uh, age 61, uh, is a bar consultant, television personality and author, best known for as a host of the reality series Bar Rescue on Scott and Spike. Oh, yeah. So he's like the Gordon Ramsay of bars. And he yeah. comes in, he's like, oh my God, you, your glasses are filthy. Right? <laughs> And what he, someone decided to pretend to be John Taffer on Twitter <laughs> and go into the hashtag RP. Yes. <laughs> so will I read out to you some of the Please some of the do. role playing? Please do. Um yeah, so I used to I used to love this. So uh this is the tile. I interrupted anime Twitter cyber sex role play as Bar Rescue's John Taffer. <laughs> so <laughs> So that here would be the one. Fuck. Now, now the, uh, for the people uh, that are on the uh, that are listening, there's a there's a anime picture of a guy very ripped. Would you say? And he's taking off his top, and he's kind of that's like classical ripped body. Classical yeah. ripped, and he's yeah. kind of peeking underneath. And this is what he says. Fuck. I haven't got off in weeks. Hashtag open DMs. Hashtag lewd RP. Right. Oh my god. And then John Taffer RP <laughs> says in talk replies. Looks like this fridge hasn't been cleaned in weeks either. How, <laughs> <laughs> how old is this friggin' chicken? You kidding me? <laughs> he doesn't reply. So then the next one. Uh, I'm a lewd girl looking for some lewd fun. <laughs> she giggles, covering her mouth with a blush. <laughs> oh my. Hashtag sex RP. Hashtag lewd RP. Hashtag open RP. Hashtag open DMs. And then She's John really Ta- eager. Really eager. Yeah. She First needs, time. <laughs> yeah, she needs to get all those hashtags. And uh, John Taffer replies, <clears throat> I adjust my stylish yet understated blazer. I'm here to fix this bar. <laughs> <laughs> Let's focus on that first and foremost. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go for all of it I don't care um, <laughs> Valentine stands near the hill Oh sorry Valentine stands near the hails As she waits for someone to approach her Hashtag open RP <clears throat> John Taffer You know who else is waiting? That table over there <laughs> <laughs> they, they, I don't know how to pronounce that word uh, charcuterie. Ooh. Oh, mm. <laughs> they ordered a charcuterie. Oh, Wait, just bleep it out. They ordered a charcuterie. <laughs> play an hour and a half ago. Inexcusable. <laughs> so this is very good. Actually, oh, there's one. First of all, oh yeah. Open our hashtag. Open RP. Hashtag open DM. Hashtag sex RP. Hashtag lewd RP. Uh, and then the little start. <clears throat> You walk in on Cyrus standing nude beneath a waterfall. Then you're seen, blushing. What the fuck? And then John Taffer replies, <coughs> First of all, a waterfall in a bar? This isn't a friggin' rainforest cafe! <laughs> Put some friggin' clothes on! <laughs> and then someone else is getting involved in this RP. <laughs> Like, <laughs> start. He lifts the boy up and puts. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> you got real scandalized real quick there. <laughs> I did. I did. Okay. Okay. So he lifts the boy up and puts his mm-mm in his mm-mm, and then someone replies, mm, "Yeah." And then, <laughs> then someone replies, "You're such a cute little boy." Oh my god! god oh hang goodness. on. That turned left. You <laughs> read? Yeah. No. Oh my gosh! He lifts him. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> so it's getting very hashtag lewd RP, right? <laughs> It's more hashtag sex or people. Yeah. yeah. And then John Taffer, <laughs> John Taffer interrupts this little, this little <laughs> moment by going, you have customers waiting on drinks and this is what you're doing? <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> or he watches as and this is a new one and I'll stop after this I promise <laughs> uh, he watches as the city slowly destroys itself you see this is a very this is a very chat room esque yeah, kind of yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's very yeah. Yeah. It's wicked and yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's uh, like this this <clears throat> takes like this took me back and it's like uh, he watches as the city slowly destroys itself neighbour turning on neighbour brother on sister chaos hashtag open RP new man waits <clears throat> John Taffer RP He'd be better off watching this freaking bar. You know what? Table in the corner has been waiting 45 minutes for their nachos. <laughs> and then your man replies, and he's waited years to be free. <laughs> and then John Taffer replies, I don't embrace excuses. I embrace solutions. What do you think needs to be done to save this bar? And then that person replies and goes, it should be burned along with all its memories and dumpster children who were born too early to be wanted. And then John Taffer goes, it sounds to me like your heart just isn't in it anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Your partner's willing to buy you out. Would you listen to the offer? (laughs) I need to pay him out of place. I don't care for food service. At most, I would feed people the dogs they leave in the car while they wait. And then John Taffer, my eyes widen. (laughs) My God. No wonder this place is going under. What happened? You used to be passionate about this business. <laughs> I'm going to stop. There's way more. I, f- I feel that's in the spirit of Planet 69, right? Like, that's, no, sort, yeah. of where that weird, that's sort of where yeah. weird Twitter kicks in as well, where there's this, like, this this flip side, this this ongoing ridiculousness, uh, where, where there is a there is a good nature trolling. There is something about the like the gentle ripping of the piss that that goes on in Twitter that is really really nice when it happens, you know. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of really happy that I never like I was a troll, but I never like I'd never be a troll that would just say the n word or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, you're, you're being no, hurtful. No, yeah. I was brought up the right way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But like, um, you know, and I but I feel like uh, a lot of like um, trolling does come from that kind of like school of just n-word 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 type yeah. thing mm. and it's just a <coughs> bit like uh it's a bit it's a bit i don't know it's a bit sad but it's lazy um, well it's racist and offensive but also it's lazy oh, it's, just, so it's going for the easiest you can just go you can word. just use the f word it mm. has the same it's just like a swear word and it's like f f f f f it's fine yeah um what about like forums then did you did you go on boards actually my dad's on boards is he yeah Ooh. for what board uh <laughs> I don't know. Clown car, six <laughs> 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 Yeah, but you know, I think it's audiovisual. Like he's mad into it. And, oh, yeah. um, uh, I think he used to be. I don't know if he's anymore. But he, uh, yeah, it's his. Like his 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 community is like people who build build audiovisual stuff, and he met mm. loads of his friends online. Yeah, and like there are all these other dads, you know, who like build stuff together. It's really mm. nice. Oh, so, do you see? That's kind of that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, I found like I you know chat rooms, and then I went to boards that before Twitter. Mm. And with board study, I kind of had a bit of manners on that as well because I was like, feels realer. It does feel realer because you're talking to someone from like it's that dot ie man leash or yeah. something, okay. you know. And uh, like I would mostly go on the radio forums because I was very interested oh. in radio as a teenager. So I would like uh, th- I would discuss stuff, and then I started working for a radio station. So then I would like mostly defend that radio station. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. That person is not a prick. He works hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's, all, it's all very... He is trying something a bit different. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Leave him... A, we can't all have this. It's all very, you know, that kind of thing. Well, did you ever go on boards that day? Were you... Uh, I found boards... I think it was too big or something. I kind of got nervous. Because I've always liked to lurk for a while first. Yeah. And I couldn't forget where to lurk in boards to get comfortable. Yeah. So I started off in... Um, some guys who were friends with my brother... Um, started a site called jackars.net when Jackass was happening where they would do their own oh, stunts wow. in Waterford but they had a forum for that oh my god so I started in there and that's where you could like be weird yeah so I got like it was mostly like because I was like 16 it was all like David Hasselhoff jokes yeah yeah because oh that's, what, that's what the thing was then that was the before half. before he got super meme like I was in there early before with David there, Hasselhoff before yeah. the word meme, meme, meme even existed yeah pretty much yeah and then one of those guys uh, was in a metal band he started a forum called SMDF which was supposed to be for his metal band, but then it just became the Waterford Metalford. Music-y yeah. forum. Mm. So I just kind of just was there all the time because I was in college and I was yeah. in art, so I had so much free time <laughs> and free computers. Yeah. That's so it. then there came a mod of the music forum and then a global mod. Yeah. yeah. And then there, and then there was like a big fallout. So yeah. people got annoyed with him, went and started their own forum and didn't mm. tell him and invited loads of people secretly over to that one, but not me because they knew I was friends with him. Oh. <gasps> 
group. This is like yeah. a WhatsApp group. Yeah, yeah. Them, yeah. It, it was really political, and yeah, but I didn't get invited. Up, they don't see, you know what? They knew I was loyal. Mm. Shout out to Jamie. Um, nice. Yeah, but then I was the admin of that, but it just died. It just died off. Yeah. I tried the auction form as well because the auction form was huge. Mm. Remember auction that? form. Yeah, like the first yeah, music festival. Yeah, yeah. That was a huge one, but again, it was just too big. I couldn't. I don't. I can't use. Wasn't there like a didn't didn't boards get sued as well for talking about oxygen? Like someone complained about. Oh, I think they did. But they did. people sent for sense and so stuff, like, wasn't it? Yeah, and mods were very. I found I was t- I just have a big problem with internet authority. <laughs> I sort of any sort <laughs> yeah. of sheriff in this wild west, like yeah, 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 I did. I really did. That's real. Because I'm. Um, I always felt like if I'd go into a chat room. And everyone knew each other. I'd hate that. Mm. Yeah. And everyone would be having a nice conversation. And I'd be like, why don't you talk to me? And then it's like, because I'm a clown <laughs> car on fire. <laughs> oh, that's why. Yeah. yeah. Clown cars on fire so have opinions too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I used to go onto a forum called uh, MarcySolo.com, okay. which was basically a forum where people, <laughs> one of the friends would be, where's Marcy now? <laughs> <laughs> There'd be sightings Marcy of him. watch, amazing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and they would say, oh, he's, like, <coughs> when he would come over to Dublin, uh, there would always be a post of which hotel he's staying in. Mm. So then I would go to that hotel in the hopes that, I don't know, Marcy would spot me walking into his hotel and go, oh, you. And then, <laughs> and then five years later, we'd be laughing about our 30 year age gap <laughs> at a dinner party, just going, ha, I met him outside a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see him? Did I ever see him? No, I saw um, I uh, I saw him in concert, and he used to throw his shirt into the crowd. Mm. I have two pieces of a shirt, but I I'm not I'm not a big fan of him anymore. Okay, I've kind of like uh, I tried. I was obsessed with him, like mm. if, uh, my whole identity from when I was like thirteen to about twenty would be Morrissey. Like that was um, me and Radiohead. Yeah, really. Mm. Like it was just it was yeah. so like um, I knew his birthday. Um, also, like even now, like if if, if Marcy's in the news, someone will post it on my Facebook page. Yeah. Look, Alistair, <laughs> look, he said something racist again, or <laughs> you know, and I'd be like, oh no. <laughs> um, and um, I just remember I was listening to, like, uh, I just I actually remember where I was. I was buying, I was in Javagos in Galway. My cousin was getting his hair cut, and I came into Galway with him for him to get his hair cut. And McDonald's were selling those. Uh, yogurts that came with fruit in them mm-hmm. it was like a little sundae they must have been so full of sugar <laughs> so I snuck that in because you're not allowed food in Chicago so I was just eating it uh, where the CDs were and I heard uh, I heard like the tail end of You Were the Quarry and I went up to your man and uh, at behind the behind the cafe was like who is this who is this and he was like why it's Christmas Day sir yeah <laughs> <laughs> get me the biggest truck uh, but I, he said it's uh, Marcy You Were the Quarry and I bought it straight away mm. and then every bit of my pocket money from then on was spent on Marcy um, for a long time and like even I met this guy who went to school with me and like uh, I was, I was known as Crazy Allison because uh, <laughs> I just had like I had a great time. I would always, uh, I mean, I would I would be like, I would act that eccentric that like my social group would be everyone because it's just like yeah. oh uh, yeah, and I'd never have to. I think I think my teenage life is very like what I'm like on chat rooms, which mm. was like I'm a cloud car on fire, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, and then I, I will tell my secrets to a random person and then disappear <laughs> out of their life. Like, that's what I think that's very what I was like. And uh, he goes to me like, I remember you had some sort of like, I remember you, weren't you into Wicca and stuff? And I was like, no, 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 not really Wicca. And he was like, no, no, you had this temple to Morrissey, you remember? Like, I was like, no, that was my bedroom. I just, <laughs> every, <laughs> every space of, like, every space of wall, ceiling, everything mm. was covered in, like, Morrissey. And, uh, yeah, um, I just, I just, I just remember uh, buying buying the books that he recommended, and then having them in my room and not reading them because I didn't have the mental capacity yep. to. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then being a vegetarian for years, and uh, my uncle hated me being a vegetarian so much that he would give me pizza and he'd go eat that pizza. I'd be like, no, <laughs> and he'd go no, eat the pizza. It's just cheese. And I'd look at it's cheese, and I'd pull the cheese, and under it would be like. Slices of pepperoni cut so thinly <laughs> that they would fit. They wouldn't be. <laughs> it was so, or even, and I'd be like, 
like, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> And I remember one Christmas, I st- we, all, we were all staying at our grands, and uh, he he accused me. We woke up like on Christmas Day, and he's like, "A steak is missing from the fridge." <laughs> she got up at four in the morning and cooked that steak. I was like, no, no, I didn't. He would. He wanted to not only like, because he, he couldn't make me not vegetarian. He wanted to convince the family I was. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was honestly he was like he was like a detective out of those terrible movies gone. <laughs> I'll tell you what a steak has gone. It was you <laughs> You done it possessed by the ghost yeah. of Morris like, yeah. And you ate it with mushrooms and onions and you enjoyed it. <laughs> you Every enjoyed bite. it. So like uh, yeah, it was so so that was like a big thing I was obsessed with. So I used to go on Marcy Forums the whole time. I had a friend from the Marcy Forum who was the only other 14-year-old girl. Like, we were so... Like, we'd go into the forum and go, Guys, I'm only 14 and I love Marcy. <laughs> so I would just be like, I'm so freaking special. It's and like, all the old lads be like, oh, well done, well done. Well done. Yeah, 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 they would be. They would be. And, they're like, and I'd be like, yes, I'm, I'm just so intelligent. And I, I get it, you guys. I get it. We're all going to die alone. <laughs> And it was just like, and this girl called Roxanne, who I made friends with on on um, on the forum, and then I would chat to her on MSN Messenger. And there was a period of time where, like, especially when Bebo came along, and then Facebook, and then Twitter, there was no need for MSN mm. for me. So I would only pop on maybe once every six months to see if she was still there. And she mm. she just we just haven't talked in years. And a part of me thinks that she she wasn't. Part of me thinks she made up aspects of her life, and that's yeah. why. Because I was always like, "Oh, we we should we should meet at the next Marcy concert and going over to England to go see." I've, I was so obsessed. <laughs> I was like, uh, um, and and a part of me like she would say, "Oh, I'm just just traveling in Mexico," and it was all, it was all an incredible life for a mm. teenager, and then and I, I don't even I don't even feel betrayed or anything like that, or I I just look at it and I go doesn't make sense and it's cool and I get it now and it's like I hope I don't even think her name was Roxanne yeah yeah. Roxanne is a very it's a very it's a it's a very made up name <laughs> you know her name is absolutely Kira like yeah. <laughs> Roxanne Roxanne is like a bad scripted a bad script it's the, inter- <laughs> it's the internet gal you want to be yeah, yeah 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 and I felt that I feel I feel as well like um, especially with the internet especially with chat rooms that was just I, I felt really confident on it Yeah, because mm-hmm. no one knew what I looked like as well and I hated my looks when I was younger so I felt like people were listening to me uh, because of my cool like I would feel often that like um, I would not be listened to because I'm fat or something like that you mm. know because yeah, I'm a fat girl and um now I'm kind of I'm I'm really like like, like Lindy West and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, Lindy's killing it, man. Yeah, she is. Lindy's paving like, the fucking way. Like it's like I got a boyfriend. I get the ride. I don't. <laughs> I don't Pop need to be. Like, I don't need look. to be. That, that's my validation. <laughs> <laughs> that is my validation, and I'm sticking to it. Um, but you know, so so I feel like the most confident I was was when I was a burning clown care. And uh, what was your yeah. username on the Marcy form? Uh, Irish girl English heart. That's because oh. I was yeah. born in England and I felt like I felt like I was go- like I had a book as well that was like a tour of Manchester of where Marcy was born and I felt I was going to move to Manchester as soon as I hit 18 because I didn't I didn't like my village that much and I was convinced it's because I didn't like Ireland but I just think I was a teenager <laughs> yeah. you know and I was always going to myself I'm going to move I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna move to London, and I'm gonna work for the enemy, and they'll, they'll all see, they'll all, you know. And it's just, uh, or, or like, um, I was always convinced I was gonna move to Manchester and uh, look at like um, Wally Range and uh, where is like um, Affleck's place where it's got a, mo- a Morrissey mosaic and all oh, this. Yeah. And I was just there, uh, yeah. And I, I think last about. Last month, I put on the first, like, I haven't listened, I listen to Marcy like, once every six months, and it's only for nostalgia now. Mm. Um, but I used to listen to him the whole time, and then I think I got a bit more happier in myself, and I think I outgrew mm. his music. Um, but uh, I was listening to the first Miss album, I was having a shower, and I, I, I think, I think I've become a lot less, I give, a, I know, like, I was obsessed that we're all going to die. 
when I was younger. Mm. And like, I was so obsessed when I was a six year old. I used to like, I thought of God as uh, the Muppet of Christmas Future. Do you remember the Muppet oh, yeah. of Christmas yeah. Future? Yeah. That was my God that I prayed to. Every night was him, right? <laughs> and he'd be silent and show me a grave and stuff. And I would pray to him and go, like, because my dad was, uh, I, my dad's atheist and I was very Catholic when I was a kid and I was mm. always trying to convert him and go, oh, I felt like, I felt like divorced parents in the afterworld I was going to visit my dad once every week mm. in, in a McDonald's in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> Where I'd be like, Dad, come to heaven, come on. <laughs> um, and I, like, um, so it was always, so this Marcy thing definitely it's something for me when I was a teenager mm. and then I became less obsessed with it because it's like life happens and you have to just you know I'm just I'm just kind of really happy and yeah. I would listen to I listened to him in the shower and I was talking about Myra Hindley and you know you'll sleep but you'll never dream and it was just and it was just I switched it off I was like mm, please yeah. tell Marcy yeah. I was like I'm not starting my Monday this way by listening yeah. about child murder I'm alright like, you know, yeah. I got stuff to do so yeah it was kind of it was kind of cool yeah. I think we could probably talk for another two hours <coughs> easily, but you have to run away. Oh my gosh, how long have we... Oh my, oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we should probably leave it there, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, do you know, I was afraid that we wouldn't have that to talk about in regards to I, th- the I think rooms. we were grand, yeah. Cool, I was going to talk about The Sims and everything. Oh, oh, we'll man, do it again. We'll come back. That's it, part two is The yeah, Sims. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah, do it. Yeah, we can cool. like, mix in the shopping music. And, yeah. Like, oh. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Save it. Save it. Save it. The social worker. <laughs> Save it. <laughs> next time, next time. Next time. Round okay. two. So, thank mm. you very much to Alison Spittle. Yeah, thank you. Her show... Alice Spittle Discovers Hawaii is in Edinburgh for it is. all of August pretty for much. all of August uh, from, uh, the 3rd until the 29th in 145 at the Counting House in Attic 1 please come along it'll be great fun there that's, you go that's what I'm promoting. and your short is on Sky as well it is you can go on the Sky Go and find it it's Alison Spittle in Ireland so I'm very excited about that this I've, is great and I have a podcast and you have a podcast yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's on the Headstuff Podcast Network yeah so if you found this you should find that yeah <laughs> cool okay so thank you very much Sarah Griffin and thank you very much Alison Spittle bye everybody bye, bye. bye. and that's the podcast um, Sarah's still here with me hi hello that was fun that was so fun. That was good, wasn't it? Um, thanks again to Alison. As she said, um, her Edinburgh show is happening and her podcast is happening and she does stand up all over the place. She's so just follow her on Twitter, check her out. Do her gas. Do anything great. she says, yeah. Gas and sound. Yeah. Um, what else do we need to say? We need to say thank you to Steve McDonald for the artwork. Oh, as yes, always. the gorgeous artwork. Yeah. We have stickers. Oh, my goodness. I just got a bundle of stickers. I'm going to put them on everything. Talk to us about stickers if you want a sticker. Holler. Yeah. Um... What else? Subscribe and rate on iTunes. It really because matters. Because yeah. we're, we're very needy and obsessed yeah. with numbers. So Come be our friend. Yeah, put us in the charts. You Do know? it. Be cool. Um, what else? Listen to something else on the Headstop Podcast Network. For instance, yeah, Alison Spittles Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her episode with Sophie Hagen is excellent. So listen to that one. Um, is there anything else? Anything you want to say, Sarah? Not particularly. I'll no? tune in next time. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I think that's enough. How are you feeling about your award? Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> slightly more little mini interview. <laughs> yeah. yeah, excited and touched and mortified. I've never won anything before, so I don't know what I never, I never know what to say when people say congratulations. And then I'm extremely shocked. So yeah, uh, it was great. It was wonderful to be in a room with so many amazingly talented women. I was looking around, and there was thirty categories and thirty young women and three nominees in every category. So it was just all these amazingly talented women, and it was a real wonderful experience to be around them. And it also, I also feel like I probably should have been hitting some of them up for guest spots because they were like <laughs> outrageously talented. What a wasted opportunity. So I'm going to go and Sounds creep like you were them too up concerned and be like, yourself. Hey, yeah. you, brief, you briefly met me at the bar <laughs> uh, at the hours. Do you want to come on the podcast? So it was a yeah. really uh, exciting night. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, I think we'll leave it there. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. This has been a production of the Headstuff Podcast Network.